Today I'm going to show you how to make a strawberry chia seed jam using fresh strawberries. I've got about 500 grams of beautiful fresh strawberries. That's about 1, 1.1 pounds of strawberries. They smell pretty amazing and I can't wait to turn them into chia seed jam. I've been making this for about a month or so and I just love it. The family loves it. The kids have been eating it just about every day. I've been having it as well and I've written a full blog post with loads of adaptations and uses for this chia seed jam and how to make it, what to do with it and it's so easy as you'll see. So we've got the strawberries here and I'm going to chop them up into little pieces and pop them in a saucepan and get them started cooking. The strawberries are in a saucepan, all very roughly chopped up, and I'm just going to pop it over medium heat, and just very slowly they start to soften and break up and become a lovely jam consistency. Now I've actually made this in the past with other fruits. I tried a bag of frozen mixed berries. I've made it with raspberries. You could also use blueberries, really any fruit you like. You can follow this method exactly and enjoy it and I've also actually tried just putting all the ingredients together and popping it straight into a blender and it definitely makes a lovely jam but cooking the strawberries just results in such a richly flavorful jam that it's absolutely worth this very little step of just heating them up so let's pop it over medium heat and slowly cook our strawberries Let's see after a couple of minutes the strawberries start releasing some of their lovely strawberry juices and softening slightly they change appearance and very slowly become lovely and mashable you can see it's almost at the mashable stage it's just softening and I kind of like to stir around give a couple of mash and just see how we go but eventually you'll see it becomes a big bowl of strawberry jam it only took a few minutes. You can see it's bubbling away. It really does release all its juices. It's like magic. I'm just boiling strawberries. So I'm going to cook it just another couple of minutes because it needs to be totally soft and mashable. It's not quite there just yet. I'm quite happy with that. When it's easily mashable with a spoon or a fork, when it's mostly liquid, we'll take it off the heat and mash it with a potato masher. Okay, taking it off the heat. We've popped you on a tripod so you can see nicely what I'm doing. So this is nice and mashable. You can easily mash it over there with a spoon, but I'm going to use a potato masher instead. You could, of course, stick it into a blender if you want it super smooth, but I'm quite happy just to use a potato masher and mash my strawberries until it's smooth to our liking. We do like a few thicker, denser strawberry bits in it, so I'm quite happy to just have a little mash and then leave it be. There you go, it didn't take long. And now we've got mashed strawberries. Oh, my kids love it, having little bits of berries in there. So I like leaving it a little on the rustic side, but just mash it as much as you want. Or as I said, pop it into a blender or food processor to get it nice and smooth. At this point, I'd suggest very carefully just tasting a little, just to see the sweetness of the fruit. Because obviously it'll depend on how sweet your strawberries are, how much stevia or sweetener you want to add in. So, mm hmm Mm, that's sweet but definitely needs some stevia in so I'm gonna go for a quarter of a cup I've measured out a quarter of a cup of stevia and I'll give it a mix through and then I've got a fresh teaspoon to have another taste and see if it now is adjusted and if it's sweet enough great if you want to balance it you could not balance the flavors you can also add a little squeeze of lemon or lime juice just to balance it but let's have another try with the stevia just a little bit so I can try and it's a fresh spoon mmm that's much better just a quarter of a cup of stevia brings out the sweetness in the fruit and it's absolutely perfect to my liking you might like to add more less whatever you like and if you're not following a low carb keto diet you're welcome to add honey or maple syrup or whatever sugar sweetener you like as much as little as you want and now the magic star of the show chia seeds I've got a quarter of a cup of chia seeds here I've added in a quarter of a cup of the chia seeds which will just bind everything together and make it a beautiful chia jam and now it's really just a matter of mixing all the chia seeds in until they're completely incorporated in our chia jam. You can use the black chia seeds like I've used here. You could use the white ones, really any chia seeds will work to thicken it. The chia seeds are really magic. It thickens up our jam and gives it such flavor and nutrition as well. Wonderful way to get chia seeds in your diet. We just wanna make sure every single seed is completely submerged in our berry goodness. And then it just needs cooling really. You can cool it in the saucepan until it's cool enough to then pour into jars, which I will do next. 
so I'll just move the jam aside. I've got a jar over here ready to have my jam inside. We'll just fill out the jar with jam. Obviously, obviously going to depend on the size of your jar, how much you get in. There's always a little bit left over, and I'll just give it to my boys. Oh yeah, perfect. Now definitely don't overflow it as I have done. I'm going to move some out and maybe make a little treat for my boys while I allow this to cool and then pop it into the fridge a little bit later. But here you go. Have a closer look at that jam. It's so beautiful. All full of the chia seeds and now given time they'll expand and make such a beautiful thick and luscious jam. My chia jam's been in the fridge a few hours. It's thickened even more. It's beautiful. Look, you can see the chia seeds are definitely prominent there and the berries are nice and thick too and it is so flavorful. And I love this actually with a bit of yogurt. Get some plain natural yogurt, mix it through and it's a beautiful berry treat. Or you can enjoy it on top of some keto waffles or pancakes, really anything that you like. And as I said, I've written the full blog post which I'll leave down below which will give you all the step-by-step -step instructions and loads of troubleshooting tips and ideas for adaptations for flavours and all kinds of other things so make sure you check that out and make sure to leave a like subscribe for more videos and leave a comment to let me know if you give this chia seed jam a try and what you think so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon bye